What's up, what's up guys? It's Mary Hannah and welcome back to the 12 days of Christmas. So here we are rolling on day four. So it's currently 3.15. Okay, well I was looking for something, but it's fine. So it's currently 3.15. Oh no. It's currently 3.15. So not a lot of like important stuff has gone around today. I'm gonna start over. What's up, what's up guys? It's Mary Hannah and welcome back to the 12 days of Christmas. So here we are rolling on day four. Um, not a lot, wait, it's 3.15. <laughs> not a lot has gone on today. Not anything super important or like filming worthy. I got up this morning, um, I hung out with Sam a little bit because she's to close tonight and I have to work. So I wasn't gonna see her, see her until after we both get off. I also did some housework because I always clean up the apartment a little bit on Wednesdays. So that just means like I did my laundry. I washed my sheets. I'm so adult. But I do have to leave in about 45 minutes to go to work. I think at one point last year, um, I said that I was babysitting two little boys because I had quit working at Duncan um, and I'm still working with them I have to pick them up from school today and since they're not my kids I obviously can't film them put them like on the internet all that jazz So I didn't want to try to film too much of what I was doing today just because I was cleaning the apartment and you guys already saw me move a ton of stuff around my room yesterday So I wasn't sure you would want to see me kind of doing the same things over again um, that and I do sit with the boys on Saturday, uh, which will be the 19th and that is the day that I actually am going home So I was actually kind of planning on trying to get a little bit of footage while I was at the kids house on Saturday um, Obviously not showing their face, but just kind of keeping like an update on like what we do um, And all of that jazz I didn't want to put them in this video and then you know kind of have the same content on Saturday so instead what we're gonna do today since I didn't do anything super interesting and I'm kind of overloaded we are going to check in with our Memphis audience to see what they have been up to. So I gotta clear my throat out. Clear my phlegm. I got, well, I got some tired left in my throat. I'm like, tired. you can hear the <laughs> in it rather than, you know, you know, the, the normal talking voice. I'm tired. What's up, what's up guys? This is not Mary Hannah. Here with a crap. What's up, what's up guys? This is not Mary Hannah with a guest spot on the 12 days of Christmas. So as you guys might recognize, I am Olivia. I am Hannah's sister. I am here with my mom. She's driving me to the doctor's office. Uh. I believe Hannah has explained this before, but she has some side problems on her right side and has been diagnosed, diagnosed with uh, costochondritis. And within the past year, we have recently discovered that I also experience pain in the same side. Buh. All right, hold on. The difference being that my sister's pain is caused from stress and being overwhelmed in that area. That my pain is caused by my rib cage literally uh, coming out of place. There is a certain rib I have where the cartilage will just click or pop out of place depending on a certain movement I am done. So the doctor refers to this as hypermobility and we have tried different techniques and treatments to improve the condition. We have gone to physical therapy. We did that for several weeks. We have gone to the chiropractor, did that for several months, and nothing really provided any relief. But then you began having problems on the left side as well as the right, and that's when we knew we needed um, more intervention and something more aggressive. All right, so the doctor we're going to see to now in the past uh, month or so gave me a steroid shot in the area <clears throat> that overall uh, killed the pain for a long time. So for a long time, I had very, very, very low pain, something I haven't experienced in well over a year. However, our doctor also recently discovered something called stem cell treatment. She, she does it, um, she has done a lot of stem cell therapy on like thousands of procedures on other patients. She believes you having stem cell therapy in this area of your torso will 
um, improve this hypermobility that you're experiencing and may fix it forever. And are we nervous? We're very nervous. So basically what I think she said is that the shot is going to tighten my ligaments or something in the area so that my rib cage will no longer pop out of place. And that's what we are doing. All right, so we are leaving. Uh, Mom and I are going to Walmart. We are going to look for some ornaments and some other stuff for Christmas. We just got out of Dr. Linderman. First they had to draw my blood and now they're gonna mess with it a little. So we will return in time so that I can get the official shot. But while we were in there, they could not find my vein. They were poking and prodding on both of my arms. And so they had me drink a lot of water and wait a couple minutes and then they poke it, poked and prodded some more. I finally got the shot in a vein. They like took several little vials of blood out so now my arm is like tingly and numb and weak. Uh, then they gave me some Hershey's Kisses to get my blood sugar up so all is okay. So we will uh, give you another update on uh, later. <laughs> <laughs> So now we are in Walmart. Yes. We have about an hour to kill before we have to be back to the doctor's office for phase two. Let's go this way. Which is the easy part. She'll go back in and they'll do the stem cell procedure. This is cute. So right now we are here to look for Christmas ornaments for a new tree I got. And another update. So we just got out of Walmart and we bought some Christmas decoration stuff. We didn't find everything we wanted, but we did find one thing we were looking for and a couple extra things that mom had been looking for along the way. So we're good. We are now heading back to the doctor and um, to get the shot. And I'm scared, but we're gonna do it. Do it. It's gonna get done. So we are home. The procedure is over. No. How you doing, babe? I'm in a lot of pain. We didn't film right after because I just wanted to get her home. Some pain after the procedure is expected, but it should clear up hopefully in the next six to eight hours. So for now, we are just chilling. Right? We're watching Gumball. We're watching Gumball. So that's a great way to chill. And uh, she's on heavy duty Tylenol. Yay. And she's eating. So we are signing off as guest hosts for now for the 12 days of Christmas. Back to you, Mary Hannah. Hey guys, and welcome back to Murfreesboro. And as you can tell, it is the next day. So day four didn't actually end very well here in Murfreesboro, um, kind of as it did in Memphis. Day four was a little bit hectic for everyone. I sat with the boys that I babysit for a while. Um, I ended up, you know, picking them up from school and I was with them for a couple of hours. Um, their parents got home late. Um, I had to drive out to Nashville to go see Cass so I could give her something um, so she could pack to go home for the holidays. So I didn't end up getting to Nashville until like almost nine. And then I didn't leave Nashville until like close to 10 and I hit such bad traffic. Like where I am specifically, Nashville, to where Cass lives, it's only a 45 minute drive. And it turned into two hours. And I was, I was livid. I was like, I'm just trying to get home. I hadn't edited this video yet. I was like, oh my gosh. So I didn't get home till after midnight last night. So that was cool. Um, so yeah, day four was a little crazy and I don't even have anything to show for it, but that is okay. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed day four of the 12 days of Christmas. If you want to come and find and chat with me in between uploads, you can find me here on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and my website. On Instagram, I've been posting every day with behind the scenes jokes and insights on what is going on in the, in that, in that day's video in that day's video. There it is. Always remember to like and subscribe down below and I hope to see you guys for day five of the 12 days of Christmas. Bye!